Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Won't you stand for just a moment, please? Just listen to the words of that song this morning. That should be the quest of every soul today. It's just to see Jesus one day. My voice is all past. Oh, man, last. Will you just take someone by the hand right now? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today for this opportunity that you have given us again that we might come together to praise your holy and righteous name. We lift our voices up this morning in praise and adoration for all that you've done for us. Yes, Jesus. And this morning we want to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for life, for health, for strength. Thank you for food, for shelter, for raiment. But most of all, we thank you for Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you right now for the Thank church you. of Jesus Christ, Lord, which you purchased with your own blood. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You died on the cross yes, Lord. that we might be free. Oh, yes, Jesus. Father, we ask in this morning that you Thank remember you. those that are sick among us, those that yes. are hospitalized, Hallelujah, Jesus. those that are in nursing homes, oh, yes. those that are incarcerated yes, Lord. behind prison walls. Yes, Jesus. Please, Father, Please, Lord. let your word Hallelujah. of comfort and, yes, and assurance go out to even those this morning oh, yes, that don't see the need of knowing Christ yes, in the pardon of their sin. Help them, Lord. Help us this morning, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us this morning to realize yes, that you're calling us oh, yes. from sin to sanctification. Yes, Jesus. Bless this service. Please, Lord. Bless your word. Yes. Bless your servant. Yes, Jesus. Knowing them both with your power from on high. Yes. That the word of God may touch someone's heart today. Oh, yes, Jesus. Save, Lord. Please, Lord. Save such as should be yes, saved. Yes. Let us leave here today challenged oh, by your word. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this church. Yes. Thank you. For all the participants there with. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name we ask. Yes, Amen. Amen. Just turn to someone next to you and greet them. Tell them how glad you are they're here this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me live. Yes, all back. Oh, man, let sickness is not unto death. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This morning we know one that is able Amen. to do exceedingly abundantly above all we may ask of things. Amen. 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 I'm so glad to know such a one this morning Amen. that we can count on. In our darkest hour, he's always there. Amen. Amen. No matter what we're going through with and how many forsake us, God is always there. Amen. Amen. Praise God. 
I just thank God this morning for you, the Progressive Church family, and I'm just overwhelmed by your love for one another and love for the word and truth of God. I tell you something that's unsurpassed in this world today to find people that love one another as I saw, amen, your love being manifested toward our newlyweds on yesterday. Amen. I tell you, I just commend you highly and say may God bless you always to keep that spirit of love and goodwill to one, toward one another. Amen. And I thank the Lord for them being here this morning. Amen. Amen. For you that didn't know, I want to introduce our newlyweds to you this morning. Amen. And brother Derek James and sister Karen James. Amen. Stand up, baby. They are honeymooning with us this morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> honeymooning with Jesus. And that's so good, isn't it? Amen. We thank the Lord for all that he's done for us. And, and I just praise him. He just, yes, he is. He's so good. He's just so good. I'm just glad to be standing upright this morning. Amen. I know we take it for granted sometimes, but, you know, I, I tell you, I, I won't complain about a headache. I won't complain about my knees aching. When I see people fighting for their lives in the hospital, when they have no hope, doctor says a 50-50 chance, and we complain about a headache. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thank God for, for all that he is to all of us here today. And I want to call your attention this morning to the scripture lesson read, which kind of falls in line with what we want to talk to you about. Purpose to come from the 16th chapter of that book of Acts, but we're going to go there perhaps a little later. But in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, we had read this morning in verse 6, and he trembling, and astonished said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? Amen. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Amen. And it shall be told thee what thou must do. Arise, he said. Yes. And go into the city And it shall be told thee What thou must do yes. And in the 16th chapter of the book of, of, um, of Acts of the Apostles That a little damsel said These men are the servants of the Most High Amen. And they have come to show us The way of salvation Amen. The cry this morning of the human heart the cry of every soul today is what must I do what must I do Amen. talking to someone here yesterday at the reception and they were just expressing their gratitude and thanks to God for seeing so many of you here amen that whose lives have been changed by the word of God. It's important this morning that you realize that you're not going unnoticed. People see the change in your life. And as one person was talking about uh, one of the members here and they were introducing me to them because they were from the same home. They grew kind of grew up together. And uh, they were just so... Uh, overjoyed because of the change yeah. that they saw in this person's life. Yeah. And I, I said to them that if, if a church is not, amen, instrumental in changing lives, then it's not living up to his mission yeah. in the world today. We're not here to entertain. Yeah. 
Amen. We're not here, praise the Lord, just to see how good we can look to one another. Amen. But we're here to effect change Amen. in the lives of people. Amen. And I'll tell you this morning that if I go to a hospital and I, I look around and see everybody that check in, amen, check out dead. I'm going to change hospital. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. And, and you know, that's the way it is with a church today. Amen. If, if a change is not coming about, amen, something needs to change. Amen. And sometimes you can't change the institution, but you can change your attitude uh, toward your need. And I just say it in plain words, you got to run for your life. Amen. Amen. It's, it's all right to hang on to mama's uh, 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 tradition or grandmother or what have you, but you, are, you are, got to understand, grandmama can't save you. Amen. Mama can't save you. What's up? There's no one this morning that can save you but Jesus. Yeah. And it is he that we need to find out from what it is we need to do to be saved. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If, if we were uh, content, I would say even. Not satisfied, just content. Amen. That everything was all right. That we didn't need God in our lives. Most of us wouldn't be here this morning. Amen. But we are here because there's a part of us that, that longs to be with God and know God. Amen. Amen. Man is not satisfied just writing God out of his life. Because he knows that there's an eternal being. He knows that there is perhaps life even after death. And so he seemingly tries to search until he can find God. And he's asking, the heart is asking, what must I do? What must I do to be saved? I've been saved now for some 47 years and I've been preaching the gospel about 40 of those years. And I've seen so many people that were simply bewildered, simply without words and without thought as to what they ought to do to be saved. Amen. And all they needed was someone to stand up and show them that Jesus can make the difference Amen. in your life. Amen. How many of you believe that today? Oh, yeah. Do you believe it's strong enough to tell the person next to you? Yeah. Jesus can make the difference in your life. Yeah. He can make a difference in your life. But you have to understand this morning that it's like anything else. A casual relationship with anybody doesn't mean too much. Amen. There are people today that you can say, I know. And you simply know them by their name, or by their workplace, or where they live. Or perhaps you went to school with them. Amen. But to say that you really know someone is to have had an experience with them. You cannot witness for someone unless you know something about them. You got to know something about them. I'm glad this morning I can say Jesus is a savior. He's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Yes, I've never been there, but I've heard testimonies of people, amen, who come to the point in their lives that they, Satan was fighting them so hard, and when you get saved, look like the devil want to fight you harder then than they ever fought you before. Amen. amen. And they were just so overcome, amen, by this onslaught that they were just about to get to the place where they were about to give up. Amen. And even when they couldn't hold on to Jesus any longer, he held on to them. Amen. He held on to them. Amen. And I can say this morning, I am kept. Amen. I'm kept by the power of God. Amen. I'm kept because God started a work in my life and he said he is able to finish this work. He that has begun a good work in you, 
is able to perform that good work until the day he comes back for you to redeem you hallelujah but you got to hold on to him once you find out what to do then you got to hold on to him I was in the armed services and some of you in here were as well and in the armed services they have manuals army regulations uh, I remember one distinctly the army regulation 22-5 that was the infantry soldier and when you when you enlisted I was drafted into the army all you had to do was tell them what you wanted to do or what you wanted to be and they would tell you what you had to do amen, amen. that's all you needed was to decide what you wanted to be and they would tell you what you had to do Amen. praise the lord and they would make a soldier out of you Amen. they would make a make an infantry soldier out of you yes, they will train you to think amen or uh, act without having to think Amen. A lot of us today, we can't do anything because we're too busy thinking. Amen. Thinking about whether we want to do it or not. All right. Whether we should do it or not. Or whether, hallelujah, whether this or whether that or whether the other. Amen. But sometimes you have to get on up and step out on faith. Oh, yeah. If God said do it, do it anyhow. Oh, yeah. After all, amen, God's word is true. And this lesson this morning, Paul, uh, who was named Saul at the time, and we're talking about a man that uh, had a position in the world second to none. He had finished uh, his degree at the feet of Gamaliel, one of the Jewish institutions of higher learning. Amen. Amen. And he had what is known as a sheepskin, his degree. Amen. Amen. And he was so enthusiastic about what he was doing until he went out and challenged anybody. Amen. Amen. That was contrary to what he believed. Amen. Oh, if God would give us some Pauls today. Amen. amen. This man, amen, was more than just a, a bench warmer. He was a real active player amen. in the arena, amen, of holiness. Amen. He believed in the teachings of the Old Testament. He believed in the one God that is renewed. He believed that there should be no other God before them than the God of Israel. But you see, he didn't know who Jesus was. He didn't know who Jesus was. And what you have to understand, you're not going to know very much until you get to know Jesus. Amen. You see, Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty five, 25, he said that, he said, no one know uh, me but the Father. Amen. And no one know the Father but me. Amen. And whoever I will reveal him. Amen. You won't ever know who God is Amen. until you get to know Jesus. Amen. Paul with all of his education, with all of his zeal, he didn't know who God really was. Amen. He believed in God, but he didn't know that that same God he believed in was the one that was stretched out Amen. on the cross of Calvary. Amen. Who died for the sins of the whole world. Glory. Seems a bit ridiculous yeah. that he who made all things yeah. Yeah. formed the world by himself. Amen. hung the moon and stars in their place amen. amen made man from the dust of the earth amen. would die such a shame for death yeah. but you see Paul did not know Jesus amen. and he didn't know God that he preached amen. and God wanted him to get to know him amen. and if he had known this God that he believed in he knew he would have known that he yeah. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him Amen. should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. He would have understood that that same God had a law for redeeming. Amen. And there could be no redemption, amen, without the shedding of blood. Amen. And since God is a spirit, having no flesh, having no blood, he could not redeem us in his present form. Amen. So the Bible said he had to make a body for himself. Yes. And in order for that body to be pure and un, 
amen, uncontaminated by sin. God here, look at him now. He had to bypass the nature of a man. Amen. Amen. Because see, if Joseph had been Jesus' daddy, Jesus would have been a sinner just like you and me. Amen. Amen. But God bypassed, amen, the man and he overshadowed a virgin called Mary. And she became with child. And the angel said, that which is born of you is going to be called the son of the most high. His name is going to be called Jesus, Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Amen. Now, how is he going to save them? He's going to save them because he's going to shed blood. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission of sin. Amen. You see, you and I are in a, in a fix without Jesus. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sin. Amen. Amen. We can't get blood from anything else because they tried it before, but it only was a temporary thing. Yeah. 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 And what we need was something permanent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm glad I'm under the blood this morning. Yeah. And so I'm glad I'm going to stay under the blood. Yeah. Amen. Because I know that as long as I'm under the blood, it doesn't matter what anyone else say. Yeah. Amen. I'm under the blood. Yeah. Amen. And the world can't do me no harm. Hallelujah. You got to understand sometimes the principle of God. If you do, amen, you can be settled and you can be sure, amen, where you're going and what you're doing. Amen. amen. So we needed blood that was uncontaminated by sin and God wrapped himself. Listen to this. In sin for flesh. Came down here and subjected himself, amen, to the hands of evil men. Amen. And was put to death for your sins and my sins. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Just so you and I might have a right to the tree of life. Thank you, Jesus. And Paul didn't know this. Oh, he knew the law. Just like a lot of us read the Bible all the time. I had a man that said he read the Bible 50 times. And it was on that 51st time he come to realize who Jesus was. Amen. He come to realize what he needed to do to be saved. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how many times you read the Bible, if you're still without understanding, if you don't know who Jesus is, if you haven't been introduced to him, if you have not come into a relationship with him, then you are still in darkness. Yeah. And you need to come to the light. Yeah. This Paul here had already reaped havoc at Jerusalem because every time God tried to bless, he was there to stand in the way. Yes. But I want to tell all of you something this morning. No matter what's going on in your life or with you, amen, God is always there. Yes. Now, the devil thought he would use Paul to hinder God's church. Amen. amen. And God is just like this. Amen. If I got a hindrance in my way, I can do one or two things to it. I can either destroy it Amen. or I can save it. Save it. That's right. Amen. So that's what you got to look at today. God looks at things like that. God said, I'm going to save this man. Amen. He got all this zeal. He got all this get up and go. He want to do something for me. I'm going to show him what he can do. All right. Amen. So God got in the way down as he was on his way down to Damascus. Yes, sir. Going down there to bring back the saints who was calling on the name of Jesus and put them in prison. And God met him in the way. I want to tell you something. You may be high this morning. Yeah. Or you may be low. You may be rich. You may be poor. Yeah. Amen. You may be anything in this world. But when God get ready. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to move. Oh, yeah. You're going to move. You can't fight against God. Man. You just don't know enough. You're not strong enough yeah. to fight against God. Yeah. This Paul, this great man of God, yeah. amen, on his way down there, amen, to bring back bound all he called, kind of called, found calling on the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I want to tell you something. God don't have to get a, don't, God don't have to get an army. Amen. God don't need an army. Amen. God don't need a barrage of bums. No, sir. Amen. He don't need an atom bomb or atomic bomb. No, sir. Amen. God just turned up the light. Yes. Amen. He let the light shine from heaven. Yes. Amen. The Bible said a light shine from heaven. Yes. And Paul was blinded and he fell to the earth. Yes. 
And God know how to humble you if you have to. Amen. That's why I say it's better to humble yourself than to have God humble you down. Amen. He humbled himself. He fell to the earth and listened to him crying out. He knew that something phenomenal had happened here. And he cried out. Amen. Lord, Lord, who art thou? Amen. And God said to him, I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus whom thou persecutest. He said, don't you know it's hard for you to kick against the prick? He said, Paul, you can't fight against me. Amen. Don't you know I'm with these people. I and my sanctified ones, we are one. And when you fight them, you fight me. And it's hard for you to fight against me. And I'm glad Paul had good sense. Amen. Because Paul did something that we all ought to do. He said, Lord, what will you have me to do? Hallelujah to God. Can you see what he's doing here this morning? He just humble himself on down and say, Lord, what will you have me to do? I thought I had my own agenda. I thought I was doing the right thing. But now I see I was wrong. It's good to, amen, not fight against God. Now a lot of you sitting here this morning, God been dealing with you a long time. Amen. God, this is stirring up your heart. And God been trying to tell you that's where I want you to be. Amen. But you keep fighting against him. You keep pulling back. Amen. And God keep trying to pull you. How long is God going to have to, amen, work on you? Amen. Until he gets you to understand, amen, that you can't fight against his will. And old Jonah tried to get away from him. Amen. God said, I want you to go down and prophesy against Nineveh. Amen. I want you to tell them, I'm going, if they don't repent, I'm going to destroy the land. Amen. He said, well, I've seen you work before, and I know if you do it, you might change your mind. So I'm not going down there messing around with them people. You know, you got a lot of preachers like that today. They don't want to mess around with you. Especially if you're talking about being saved. As long as you got a religion, amen, that'll leave your sins alone, they don't mind it. Amen. amen. They'll tell you in a minute, don't do as I do, do as I say do. Right. But when God tell you the world, tell, tell you to tell the world, they need to repent. Yes, sir. And that means to change your mind. Yes, Turn away from your evil ways. Yes, sir. Amen. They don't want to carry a message like that. Yes, People don't want to rock the boat today. All right. Amen. Yeah. They don't want to rock the boat. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you that uh, we're not afraid of losing folk. Yeah. You got to tell people the truth yeah. and leave the decision up there. I heard Jesus said, preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yeah. And he that believeth not, he shall be damned. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So I'm just preaching. My job is preaching. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And I want you to understand today, amen, that God wants all men saved. Amen. And he wants you to come to the knowledge of the truth. And it's not a better time than right now, yeah. right, now right now, to come to Jesus. Yeah. Come to him on the terms of the gospel. Yes, God's been good to all of us. Yeah. And you know he has. There's not a soul in here today that God hadn't shown his grace and his mercy. Yeah. Amen. We should have been cut off a long time ago. Yeah. But God spared our lives. Amen. It gave us one more opportunity. Amen. And how do you know this is the last time? Amen. Could be the last time. Amen. 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 He said, Lord, what will you have me to do? And you see, God won't stop you. A lot of people tell me a lot of times, well, if the Lord showed me this thing, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Amen. If the Lord come to me and tell me I'm in the wrong church, or I've been baptized the wrong way, then I believe it. Well, I'm going to tell you what God will do now. God will stop you in the way. And if you're here this morning, God done stopped you in the way. And he said to Paul, when he said, Lord, what will you have me to do? And he said to Paul, you go on into the city. Get up, arise, and go on into the city. And there'll be someone there that will tell you what you ought to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm glad God got somebody. Amen. People tell me sometimes, Amen. You just too intimidating or you just too forceful or you just I believe this thing. Oh yeah. I got this message from God and I'm not afraid to tell anybody about it. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. But you see, Ananias, he was a little man. And, and, and God chooses little things sometimes to bring down big things. Amen. He picked a little preacher. He didn't pick the bishop. He didn't pick the pope. He didn't pick Peter. Amen. But he picked Ananias. And he went before, amen, Saul spoke to Ananias. He said, Ananias, I want you to do something. He said, yes, Lord, what is it? He said, I want you to go down to the street called Straight. And there's one Saul of Tasha's. He's down there praying. And I want you to go in and lay your hands on him that he might receive his sight. Amen. He said, Lord, I heard about this man. I heard about how tough he is. I heard about how he's done the saints at Jerusalem. Amen. And I'm afraid of him in so many words. And the Lord said, get up and go your way. This man is a chosen vessel unto me. He's mine. When God say you're here. Hallelujah. He's mine. I'm going to show him what great things he's going to have to suffer for my name's sake. Amen. And you don't know sometimes what you're going through is not something God wants you to go through. He got a purpose in your life. He got a purpose in your life. And I tell you, there's no man in the world that was more dedicated than the Apostle Paul was. Amen. And, and had such a hard life. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. I was telling somebody the other day, I said, you know, as I'm at the age right now where I ought to be just in the rocking chair, just taking it easy. I said, but it looked like it's been my lot in life ever since I... Been, been, been knowing myself All right. is a habit hard. Right. It never come easy for me. Right. It's always been hard. Right. But see, God made me where I could take it. Right. Amen. He won't put no more on you than you can bear. Yeah. If it's on you, you can take it. Yes, a lot of us are crying and crying and crying, and we don't have a right to cry. Amen. I heard Paul, who had been shipwrecked two times, yes, he had. who had been beaten and left for dead. Amen. Now he was facing Nero's chopping block. Amen. He was able to say, I fought a good fight. Yes, How many of you want to say that when you come down to the end of life? Oh, yes. I have fought a good fight. Yes, I have kept the faith. Yes, and now I know that there's a crown of life laid up for me, whom the righteous judge himself is going to give. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. I don't regret the life that I've lived. Amen. Amen. I don't regret the service that I've given. Amen. Amen. Because I know I'm serving a just God. Oh, I'm serving a righteous God. Amen. Who is not unrighteous to forget the labor of love that we show toward his name. Amen. You can't do too much for God. You can't do too much for his people. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you something. I feel honored this morning to have been chosen by God to speak to you this morning Amen. and tell you what you ought to do. Amen. And I said, Lord, I heard about him. This man is fierce. He's wreaked havoc on the church of Jerusalem. He's beaten the saints. He's put them in prison. Amen. Amen. He said, go on down there. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm going to show him what great things he's going to suffer for my name's sake. Amen. And he went on down there. And there was Saul down on his knees praying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, if you can get people to pray today. Amen. A man that won't pray or do anything. anything. Yeah. But if you can get a man praying, Amen. if you can just get him to pray, Amen. if you can get him to pray about it, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Maybe God can speak to it yes, Lord. through somebody. He said, Brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus, yes. whom you met in the way, yes, Lord. have sent me. Yes. God will send you somebody. Yes. Send me yes. that you might receive your sight. Yes. Don't you know you're blind? Oh, yeah. He sent me that you might receive your sight. So why tarriest thou? Arise, he said, yes. and be baptized. Yes. Call it on the name of Jesus. He's up. Amen. I want to tell you something. Somebody here this morning have not known the Lord. You haven't come into that relationship with him because you haven't been baptized yet. Yes. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some might have been baptized in the using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but that's not Bible. Amen. Amen. Everywhere you find in the Bible where any soul was ever saved, and you can check this out. Check it out with anybody. Everywhere a baptism or ceremony was held. Amen. They baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. You cannot have your sin forgiven unless you do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus said, thus it is written, and thus it who Christ to have suffered and rise from the dead, that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name Amen. among all nations, Amen. beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The world standing out there today, all over the world, hungry hearts and hungry souls are crying out to know the Lord in the pardon of their sin. Amen. They see the sickness of the world today. They see the sickness of sin today and they're crying out. They're coming by the thousands saying, what must I do to be saved? Amen. And you got somebody telling them, well, you know, just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then you're going to believe on him as the scriptures say. Oh, yes. Amen. The scriptures say we are all sinners. Yes. Amen. And the only way we can be saved is through him. Amen. God so loved the world, true, that he gave his only begotten son, true, that he said he that believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. You got to believe on Jesus. Amen. As the scriptures say. Amen. As the world stands out here today crying, amen, their hearts are crying and they want to be saved. And I'm happy to say that people are coming. Amen. People are coming. Amen. amen. I want to tell you, God is saving in these last days. People are coming and they are asking, what must I do to be saved? Amen. Yes, Lord. And I want to tell you, just like Peter told him on the day of Pentecost, he preached the first sermon. And he said, this same Jesus whom you crucified, Amen. God had raised him up, Amen. made him both Lord and Christ. Amen. And when they heard this, they were pricked too in their hearts. Yeah. And they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Amen. What shall we do? What's wrong with telling people right there? You got to repent of your sins. Amen. And that seemed to mean you got to turn away from Satan. And you got to turn away from the practicing of sin. And you got to turn to God. And you got to practice righteousness. Amen. It's not hard to live holy. holy. Amen. It's no shame to live holy. Amen. I wouldn't want to live any other way. Amen. I wouldn't want to be with any other folk today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God is in the midst of his people. Oh, yeah. They are the ones that are praising him. Oh. And God in hell, amen, inhabits the praises of his saints. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Amen. Peter said, repent. Yeah. And be baptized every one of you yes, in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. for the remission of your sin. And here, Ananias said, Why tarest thou? Arise, get up, Paul, get up and be baptized. Yeah. Calling on the name of the Lord. Jesus. Amen. Yes. That you might be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Somebody needs to be saved this morning. Yeah. Somebody's heart is crying out this morning yes, Lord. Saying what must I do to be saved oh, yes. I'm here to tell you You have to repent of your sin yes. you, have to come, you have to come clean yes. You got to tell God Lord I ain't no good Amen. Ain't no good thing in me yes, I'm a sinner yes. Born that way yes. Brought up that way yes. But Lord if you have me Here I am Amen. Amen. I'm ready to go with you, Lord. Amen. I'll take you on right now by water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. for the forgiveness of my sin. Oh, yeah. And that's a wonderful package you're getting here this morning. I don't care how low down and dirty you've been in your life. I don't care what you've done. God stands ready right now to wash you clean. He stands ready right now to forgive you everything you've ever done. Amen. Give you a new opportunity. To serve him in the beauty of beauty of holiness. Yes, what must I do to be saved? Jesus. Rise out of your seat right now. Jesus.
Repent of your sins. Turn away. That means turn away from them. Yes. Lord, I, I'm a sinner. I ain't no good thing in me. And I'm going to turn. You know, a lot of people want to wait till they get it all right. Well, I'm going to, as soon as I get straightened out, I'm going to get saved. Yeah. You can't get straightened out. All right, if you would, could get straightened out, Christ would not have had to go to the cross. Amen. 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 But he went to the cross to straighten you out uh, so you could be straightened out. Amen. But you have to come to him now on the terms of the gospel. And if you'll come right now, Amen. God will help you. He stands ready right now. Stands ready right now. There's someone in here this morning. Your heart is crying out. What am I going to do? Amen. The answer is simple. You have to repent of your sins. Be baptized in water in Jesus' name. Be filled with the Holy Spirit speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give you utterance. Then and only then. Can you say, I have a Bible salvation? Amen. Why don't you come right now? for yourself. Now don't do this for mother, for father, sister, brother, husband, or wife, or anybody else. Do it for you. Come on to Jesus right now. Come on to him right now. Right now. Oh yes he Come 
this morning how many times must I show you how much I love you God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who ever believed in him should not perish but receive everlasting life why don't you shake off your pride your fears, your disappointments and why don't you come on down this aisle this morning and say to God, amen, Lord I can't come this morning but I'm coming I want your help by coming you're saying to God I want you to help me, amen come on right now we're waiting for you we're waiting for you you to know
going to the throne of grace. Because we know that the God that we serve is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we may ask of Amen. Jesus, we come. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your love, for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your healing power, your saving power, your keeping power. We thank you right now even for your presence that permeate this place. Lord, I'm blessing, asking your blessings upon all those that stand before this altar right now. All over this auditorium, Lord. You know each one of them. You know their needs. You're able right now to feed their needs. In Jesus' name. Please, Father, stretch forth your hand right now to save, to heal, to deliver. Rebuke all doubts and all fears. Help us right now, Lord, to trust in your holy word. Lord, bless these that are here this morning. Let them leave here today challenged by your word. In Jesus' name. Please. Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you're doing right now. We know you're working it out right now. In Jesus' name. Because you love us. Because you love us. You spared our lives once more. In Jesus' precious name. Please, Lord, as we commend them to you now, you have your way in their lives and you bless them according to your will. And Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. That's do your holy and righteous name. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. And let us all say, Amen. Come on, praise the Lord for your victory. Hallelujah. Bless them right now. Touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet and deliver them in Jesus' name. Fathers, we commend them to you. We're going to claim it in Jesus' name. Touch now. Heal in Thy name is your well. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Repent of your sins, be baptized in Jesus' name. 
receive the gift of the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God give you utterance and continue to walk in the Apostles teaching yes, amen be ready when Jesus comes again for his church yes sir. God bless you after the benediction has been said will you please stand at your seat until we have come through to the vestibule and that we'll greet you in Jesus name grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us both now and forevermore. Amen.